What's going on guys? Welcome back. So I just went back to the Pokemon Center because I wanted to heal my guys up and I also picked up some Super Repels because I can't be bothered with these freaking Sneasels and shit that's always in this powder. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of these babies. Got 17 of them, so we're stoked. And uh, let's ex let's explore around a little bit, I guess. Nope, shit can't go that way. So I'm right at the beginning of the whole thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna go over here to the right. This Mamasan comes built in with Rock Smash, you know. Standard. I should be a mammoth swine salesman. Fucking sell these things, sell these things like a boss. Like yeah, with this baby right here, you're gonna be getting uh 10 miles to the gallon. This one really needs to needs to stop quite often. I'm gonna go ahead and break those and hop right off, and uh, we can go explore around over this way. I don't know what the hell. We're in like some weird cracks. What is this? It's probably an item right here. So there's a timer ball right there. That's cool. Use those when you're in a battle for like a super long time, especially with legendaries. If you get like a battle where like you're both using struggle, timer balls are gonna be your balls. So, found an icicle plate right there. Cool. Go ahead and take that. And all right, just finding shit all over the place. What's going on over this way? No item there. Well then. Oops. Didn't want to hop on you yet. There's still another way I can go. Damn it, Mammoth Swine. Let's see what's over this way. Oh, actually, this is where this, there's a sky battle right here. Except in this sky battle, there's a trainer that has a Rotom. And I can only use a Charizard in sky battles. So somebody warned me. It was like, yo, don't battle. Don't battle the damn sky battle in the, in the icy area. Because that Rotom will fuck me up. I only have, like, Rock Smash, Slash, Fly, and Fire Pledge. You can't use Fire Pledge in battles. So I would pretty much have to use Fly on that thing, and that'd be shitty. So... Gonna go ahead and dodge that battle. Keep on going this way, just cruising through some pow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. What is over this way? Ooh. Two rocks. Break those bitches with, with ease. Hop off, my friendly mammoth swine. Wait, actually, I gotta break that rock, damn it. Fuck are you, rock. Okay, now I think I can go that way. You never get off on the side that I want you to, character. What the hell? Alright, so over this way. Probably got some more items and, and all that sort of junk. So there's a calcium right there. Not bad. Some, gonna put that bitch to some good use when I start EV training and Wi Fi team. It's gonna take forever. So, that looks like that's it for here. One calcium. Very worth it. These super repels do not last these days, man. Should have got some fucking max repels. Oh, going in reverse. <laughs> backing up, backing up. It should have the sound like, because <laughs> Mammoth Swine's huge as fuck. Gotta let people know, you know. So coming, coming down this way, we got some more, some more Rockies. Oh, there's three this time. Whatever will I do to these three rocks? Don't even need to break all three of them. So where the hell are we now? Damn it, Mammoth Swine, why can't you climb things? You useless. So, that was cool. Got a hollow clip. What's going on? Hello there. Tits McGee, this time I challenge you to a battle in front of Anastar City's gym. Prepare yourself. Well then. Serena, asking to get whooped again? Shit. So it's still snowing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go through this thing. Oh, thank God, it's so much warmer in here. I sure wish there was sunflower around. Anastar's sundial. Pokemon that keep their faces in the sun and a sundial that keeps time by the sun's travel. Sunlight and shadow is at play. is sweet to see. Sundials are actually pretty cool. We had what, like a huge one in the middle of my school and it was kind of interesting. You there! Hello. I came in place of Dexio to tell you something. There's a person here in Anastar who knows about the legendary Pokemon. Cool. And she is going to run off. Okay. Can you tell me who? I almost forgot. I brought you some gifts. Put them to good use. Hell yeah, I got some repeat balls. Bitches giving us balls. Alright. Repeat balls make it easier to catch kinds of Pokemon that you've already caught before. Which is stupid, because if you're going to want a Pokemon that you already have, might as well just breed it for a good nature or something. The tip of a sundial shadow. If we're if we were in a mystery novel, there would be probably something buried there. Ooh, there's definitely something buried there then. 
shit. I can read Pokemon memories. People call me the memory girl. Now the memory of your Pokemon? Sure. Which Pokemon's memory? Um. How about, how about my Charizard? Malcolm looked down at the world from a tall tower where it went with Tits McGee. The Pokemon definitely remembers that. I felt proud. Well, that's, that's, that's cool. Thanks for the useless information, girl. So we're in a new town. Oh, shit. Repel. Don't want to use another one. Well, still, I hope I still have Pokemon when I grow up. Because when I have kids, I want to trade Pokemon with him. Cool. Let's go in this go in this clothing shop. Maybe pick up a couple couple new clothing items. See what they got in here. Anastar better have the fucking the cool clothes. Oh, shit. We got a Lakers cap. Definitely going to change into that. Change up the old hat a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. What else we got? We got for, for shirt for shirts up in this bitch. Got a nice got a nice zip jacket. I can dig that. A little down jacket. Yeah, it's nice and cold here. Fuck the red one. I'm gonna get this one. Change into a sweet new winter jacket. We are ready for the cold. Got a beanie and a jacket. Hell yeah, gonna confirm that. And let's spend like three thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars on our freaking clothes. Twenty-one thousand, close enough. Are you gonna buy them? Sure. You look great. I know I look great. Well then, with our fresh new clothes, I'm feeling confident. You know, gonna go, gonna go walk into random people ho people's houses now. You know what I mean? What's going on? You there? Use this and awaken your power, your Pokemon's hidden powers. So we got hidden power. That's cool. Thanks, guy. What a guy. So you can actually find out what type of hidden power your Pokemon's gonna learn if you come back to this guy. The power of the move is the same regardless, regardless of which Pokemon's using it. Cool. Well, that's it for this place. It's the hidden power house. Nice. What's going on over here? Even if I lose something, Luxray find, finds it for me. Pokemon are mysterious and amazing. Cool. So I know that I'm supposed to have a battle in front of the Pokemon gym. When we come across that, that's going to be fun. Why, hello there. You must be the apprentice of the Professor Sycamore I've heard about. I guess it's my guess that you've come to ask about the legendary Pokemon of Kalos region, Xerneas. Well, allow me to tell you what I know. Well, this is the guy that knows shit. It happened about 800 years ago, the Pokemon known as Xerneas used its shining horns to illuminate the lands of Kalos. At that very moment, people and Pokemon throughout the land felt great energy and vitality surge through their bodies. At the same time, a vast forest sprang up, with Xerneas at its center. Legend has it, when it nears the end of its thousand year lifespan, Xerneas releases all of its remaining energy, sharing it all with living things nearby. There's another story I know that talks of the appearance of just such a fortune. Cool. I don't know how to read words. Maybe they just wish legendary Pokemon to come to the rescue to brighten the tale of, of woe. Well, that's cool. It remains, it remains in hiding deep within the forest, according to old tales. As I say, well, that's that's cool. So it's apparently in some sort of forest. That's that's fun. Gonna find, gonna find Xerneas. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I wonder when the hell we get that guy. With my wife gone, my life has become very lonely. Would you be so kind to lend me one of your Pokemon? You know, to keep me company. How about no? It has to be level five and under. That's kind of cool. I wonder what happens if you give this guy a Pokemon. Someone leave a comment telling me, because I'm too lazy to find out. Um, cool. That's so. Here's the Pokemon gym. Sweet. I'm gonna go in this place first. This place. This. No. No. I did not want to spend any time in here. You can actually. The, the the main reason for these cafes is there's Pokemon that people show you that you can fill up your Pokedex with. But I'm gonna go ahead and not go in there, because <laughs> that sounds awful. Tits McGee. What's up? Let me show you how much stronger I am. I did say we were gonna be rivals back in the cafe in Limoy City, after all. Indeed you did, Serena. Indeed you did. Well, so she's got four Pokemon. So she leads off with her stupid Meowstic thing. Which is actually, I don't know, it's kind of cool, I guess. I've got Electra in front. Not really sure why, but I'm going to run with it. So that thing's level 44. Not bad. He's going to do his old, his old fake out routine. Routine doesn't do shit. Although I do flinch and couldn't move. Oh no. 
So now I go first. Hit that bitch with a T-bolt. It does quite a bit of damage, disarming the voice. Ouch. Your voice hurts. Critic that was a critical hit. That was probably the most pathetic looking critical hit I've ever seen. <laughs> well, that thing dies. You tried, Meowstic. You tried. Ball and Greed level 45. Sweet. Next is Delphox. So I'll go into Ballin. Kill your weird, ugly Delphox thingy with my Ballin. Level 46. Damn, what the hell you been feeding that thing? <laughs> Seriously though, so he goes first, gonna hit me with a psychic. Kind of ouch, but then it's like, yeah, kind of not really. Ballin doesn't really care. Ballin's just really bulky, so it's like, I love you, Ballin. You're my favorite. So I'm just gonna hit you with one more surf after I take a flamethrower. I just kind of like watching Delphox use flamethrower. Oh shit! Fuck your critical hit. Right was it? Right as I was talking about how awesome Ballin was. Wow. You're not making a good impression there, bro. Uh, well then, who should I go into? Carly can kill it. Yeah. Made you with a foul play, although foul play does use the opposing Pokemon's base attack stat, which I didn't realize until like recently. It'll still get the job done, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, I probably should have taught Malamar Night Slash rather than, and so I should have got rid of foul play. Because after I use Superpower, it'll raise my attack. And with the attack raise, that's not going to do shit for foul play, so. Thanks, guys, for leaving comments and telling me about that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty pretty swell of you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, when I get to the, I'm gonna get some heart scales or something. Probably go relearn Night Slash later, but too lazy now. So here's a Jolteon that's about to get his dick pinched. How the hell did you get a Jolteon? That's pretty cool. I'm going to not Mega Evolve because I'm gonna be Flying type then. Double Kick. I just feel like a double kick from a Jolteon would not hurt whatsoever. <laughs> and Pitzer kind of shows that, although I do resist it. It's like, wh why, why, does you, why wouldn't you use an electric, electric move? You have a fucking, you have a Jolteon. You're like, you know what? You know what would be a good idea? Double kick. Stupid. So there you go. Now, now you're learning. Discharge. All right. Getting somewhere. You asshole. Paralyzing dick pinch. But I break through it. Get an X scissor. Very nice. So Jolteon is dead. Electro Goo to level 46. Sweet. Last is an Absol. Pinsy would be freaking perfect. Except for the fact that he's paralyzed as hell. So, I'm going to switch into Malcolm. And you can get raped by a big black Charizard. Which doesn't sound very appealing, to be honest. <laughs> a little fun fact about Mega Charizard X. If it Mega Evolves into Mega Charizard X, you can actually hit it with... Um, you can definitely hit it with Earthquakes, which is kind of weird. Because it loses its flying type. So you can so anytime you see a black Charizard, earthquake that shit. New strategy. Alright. So I'm gonna mega evolve into a blue beast, blue and black beast, and give you a fire pledge. Oh shit, quick attack. Ouch. Malcolm's like, ah! Got me right in the eye. One more fire pledge is gonna do the trick. Here we go. So, Absol dies. Malcolm grew to level 47. Sweet. Look at them stats. Look at them. Wants to learn Flamethrower. Thank God. Yes. I need Flamethrower. You know what? I'm kind of over Fire Pledge. Like, why, why have Fire Pledge when I can have Flamethrower? Now, when I do Sky Battles, I'll actually be able to hit shit with Fire Moves. Thank God. Oh, it's about time. Well, Carly grew to level 47 also. And Serena was defeated. Sad Serena. Am I just not good enough to bring out the best in my Pokemon? Pretty much. Look at me swagging with my new gear. So we got a bunch of money, and alright. My Pokemon are so much stronger now, but you and your Pokemon are still one step ahead of us. Anyway, I'll hear your Pokemon here. Sweet. 
You and your Pokemon are good enough to beat the gym leader. Go for it. Well, should I just go for it? The part of me that wants to challenge the gym is fighting with the part of me that's scared of losing. So I never get to the point of challenging the gym. You're a pussy. I'm just going to go for it. Wait, what, what does this say? Olympia, person who makes paths with starlight. The hell is this place? Hey man. This place is a maze inside of a ball, trying to get your head around that one, right? Even if you find your way around, you'll have to watch out for all those psychic types. Got some crazy powers, am I right? But don't give up and you'll find your way. Well then, psychic types kinda calls for calls for my boy Dick Pinch to shine right now. Alright. So like I guess we're just supposed to like Holy shit! What the hell? What is this? It's like my character just dropped some acid or something just running through the damn universe. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. This place is a trip, man. The walls fucking collapsed and then I'm just all of a sudden like floating in space. Walking on weird rainbow road looking things. Well, he's got an executor. That's perfect, because you're four times weak to bug, so you're going to have a good time with this ex aren't you? Aren't you there, Mr. Level 46 Executor? So I'm going to pow you right in the kisser, and you are dead. Pow right in the kisser. So, your coconut guy's dead, unfortunately. Dick Pinch grew to level 48, though. Sweet. So that guy wasn't very difficult. When you remain calm and undistracted, your Pokemon can realize their full potential. True potential, sorry. Well, that's cool. Thanks, guy. What the hell is this? I stand on this? I, like, teleport? Holy crap. Look, there's even, like, asteroids floating around and shit. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm gonna not hit that one, because I want to see what's going on over this way. Oh, and it's just a big circle. Damn it! You win this time. Dead end. I'm gonna go through that, and we have to go down. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Stand on the little yellow tile. And it takes you to magical places. So I guess I'm going the right way, I'm just kind of following this. What is this shit? Alright, what's up, man? You can go anywhere as long as you never give up. What, what an inspirational guy. You know, thanks for that. I, I needed that today. Harry. Psychic Harry has a Metacham. That's pretty cool. So in that case, Mr. Metacham, let's see what I got in store for you. So I can Mega Evolve and then use Thrash. Thrash will be a flying type move and this Metacham is not going to have a good day. I always had Metacham's name Nipple Knee. I feel like I've already said that but look at that guy's knees. It's like a pair of tits. So one Thrash is going to do the trick. Sweet. Dick Pinch is going to get so much experience right now. You suck Harry. Getting a bunch of moolah. And we shall continue. Oh, okay. We got a little decision to, to make here. I'm going to go left. Oh, nothing left. I'm going to go right then. There's a lunatone in the background. Holy crap, I did not even notice that. That's cool. Nice little star arrangement of a lunatone. I can dig it. I feel like I'm getting warmer. Probably going like okay. No, I'm definitely going the right way. Sup, bro? I had a vision that the battle we are about to have will be different from all previous battles. I doubt it. I'm probably just gonna send out my pincer and just destroy you. See what you got, Arthur. You have a Reuniclus. Yep, I'm just about to pretty much rape you with an Excision. I envy your Pokemon, though. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet little jello guy you got there. So, 
Smack that thing right in the kisser. And it is dead. Sorry about that. So we almost grew to level 49. Arthur was defeated. You and your Pokemon look like you know how to share your burdens with one another. Yes, of course. Well, shit. Gotta go through this thing. Where the hell am I going? More trainers. This place is like never ending. This gym exists only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. Alright, thanks for the explanation there. You, you don't belong here, Hex Maniac. You're, you're not a psychic lady. You have a Gardevoir. Sweet. Hopefully he doesn't uh, Mega Evolve. That's gonna be... Actually, so wait. Since this thing's fairy type... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fuck... I'm just gonna... X scissor this thing anyways. So trace my mold breaker. That's annoying. Let's see what an X scissor does to this thing. And oh, almost kills it, but not quite. So it's it's definitely neutral to bug now. Gonna imprison. Sealed any moves its target shares. So that's that's kinda Imprison is really like a dumb move, because it's like only if you're battling the same Pokemon as you would it be like useful, I guess. And if they had like the same moveset. I don't know. I just kinda I, I wanna see somebody use that in a Wi-Fi battle though. Be pretty interesting. So, Dick Pinch, grew to level 49. Lack of boss. Slime Shady, grew to 45. Alright, there. I see you. I see you back there, Slime Shady. What is the source of your power? Well, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to continue walking through the universe and we're going to get to the gym leader, and good times are going to be had.